Cody, are you like, what happened, dude? The girl not text back? Why are you so angry? Chill. <laughs> Chill. Give her time. Jesus, aren't you coming here? Guns <laughs> blazing. Goddamn. We're all having a nice, relaxing day. You can start a race war. Goddamn. Jesus Christ. Oh, Zane. The other day, Lauren said if I wanted Zane food, and I started dying. I was like, hell yeah, I want some Zane food. <laughs> hell yeah, I want some Zane food. <laughs> he said it so casually, too. I, I was shocked. I was so shocked. Oh, the number three joke? Well, you're going to be number two in the world. <laughs> More on. Yeah, it was so random. Because I call... You, the shit, remember the shit you told me to get? I just call it Zane food. Not even because of what it is, but because, like... You're the one who like recommended it to me. You oh stop it. You called it Zane food. You were high as fuck and you giggled. Oh stop it. No, she's full of it. No, fuck no, she's fucking full of it. <laughs> Do you want some Zane food? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I said, hey man, Joey doesn't really like you. He called you uh insert this, insert that, insert that. And Zane believed it for like ever <laughs> until one day fucking him and Joey had a talk and he was like, hey man. And Joey's like, I never said that. <laughs> Joey's like, I never said that. <laughs> Why is fucking funny, dude? That's what like Zane was needed to the top circle. I had to break him in. I'm Loki. I'm, I'm Joffrey, dude. I'm evil. Only because evil's funny, dude. Evil was so much funnier than like, think about like Captain America. He might be the least funniest person I've ever met in my life. There's nothing funny about Captain. It's just boring to the book, to the point, to the book. It's not, it's just, it's way funnier to be evil. Evil is objectively funnier. You know, like, you know, these nerds are like optimal or whatever. I'm optimally funny. If there's an option to be funny, no matter whose feelings I hurt or what needs to be said, <laughs> I take the funny route every time. I'm optimally hilarious. How do you keep track of the truth? I guess I should be there is no truth, Zane. <laughs> there is no truth. That is beautiful, you like that? There is no truth. Also, I make sure I keep all my jokes. Like, there's a cabinet in my head where I keep all my joke lies deep. I My memory is good. About things that are not important, but I'll forget everything all the time. But I'll re I remember the dumbest little not important moments about everything. And it makes no sense. My short term memory is a fucking joke. It's like painfully bad. But I can remember like really... Like, I don't know. My... my yeah, I remember really fucking stupid little details, but then I'll just like forget everything else. And it's very weird. That's just 80. Don't fucking say I have ADHD, you fucking bitch. You don't know that. <laughs> Try to disease me in front of everybody. Fucking pussy. <laughs> don't, don't fucking come at me like that. <laughs> you fucking diseaser. Yeah, but I, I might. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna get some fucking Adderall. I'm gonna fuck all of you up. How come Cody just gets to take Adderall? I think I would take Adderall, except for the fact that I think it would make me a worse streamer. I think the reason I am the streamer I am today is because I can't focus for shit on anything. And I think it makes me a really good streamer because of it. Zane! Am I going to your house? I promise no brown people jokes. I'm a class act when I meet parents. Class act. If you guys don't know, next month... I'm having a sub goal. I'm gonna go to Zane's house. We are both vaccinated. Zane's parents said I can come over. I got the A-OK -okay from the parents. And me and Zane are gonna play the first high-level LAN session in over a year and a half. It's gonna be sick. And I was gonna stream on my channel, but... I just seems like too annoying. So I'm gonna have a super sub goal and I'm just gonna take three days off and let Zane stream the whole thing. Should be easier. 
and it should be a lot of fun. I'm also gonna, while we're there, we'll sub goal. We can do a 3F session with Leffen. I think it'd be fun. Um, I have a lot of ideas. It'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. I bring in a sleeping bag. Something tells me Zane's house has the nicest guest blankets. Like they're like, like cat fur or something. I don't know. You're not playing that fuck bag. What did he do? Hey, don't talk about Leffen like that. What did Leffen do to you? What did Leffen do to you? Nah, I'm down. Fuck Leffen. <laughs> I tried to fend him, and I was like, "What's something nice I could say about him?" I'm like, "He really has no redeeming qualities." I was like, "Eh, hey, you know what? I'm back on Team Zane." <laughs> I was like, "Eh, hey, you know what?" Ah, <laughs> I'm back. What's up? What's up, street rat? I think if you hang out in my chat more or here, I think you just slowly become one of us. It's like uh, some weird like sci-fi movie. You become no, I don't know. I feel like. And I'm not trying to suck my chat's dick, but it's a very different place from a lot of Twitch chats. For how many people are here? It's very, uh, it's different. I also think I'm different as a streamer, like, obviously. It's like a weird... You guys seen WandaVision? Oh my god. What's the town that Wanda's in? That's us. <laughs> we're on our own little universe. Drones that worship Mango. I always say, this Twitch culture, we're like... People, like, make fun of me because my chat actually likes me. I'm like... I don't, I don't understand. Because most chats, like, you, like, make fun of the streamer, and I think that's so fucking weird. Tell him, Colonial. It's like everyone here loves me. Is that the way it's supposed to be? <laughs> what, what's, what's the crime? <laughs> Wait, what, I don't I see no problem here. No! <laughs> My dash cat's off Randall's side. Wait, Zane, are you, wait, Zane hasn't seen it? The EMP Lemon Doc. It's just like, it's just false. It's not even that it's bad, like the production and stuff's fine. But like, it's just false. They called Hungrybox, he called Hungrybox the last god. The last standing god. And he said Hungrybox is melee. I was like, what? No. <laughs> false. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hungrybox called you melee? When did he call you? How come he never says anything nice about me? Fuck that fat fuck. <laughs> Beef's back! Beef's back! Beef's fucking back. I'm so sick of this kid. It's like when our modder retired and he was like, he's easily the GOAT. I was like, you fucking bitch! You really gonna do that to me, Hbox? After all we've been through? Really? Really, Juan? You just gonna do that to me? Really? Really, Juan? After all we've been through? You gotta let this little ugly Swedish fuck come between us? You motherfucker. You motherfucker. You fucking bird in hell. Nah, I actually don't hate Hbox. He just... He, he knows what he's doing, dude. Me and him are like... Me and Hbox, even right now, are like... Psychologically playing a battle. Mentally and psycho you guys have no idea. It's always going on We're stuck in a lifelong battle of, of minds. Yeah, I mean my Xbox relationship is really funny It's always been pretty funny honestly and Like I said, we're fine now, but just sometimes he just <laughs> Old mango like the old mango that lives in me just like twitches just like Bruh. And then new mango's like let it go <laughs> Just let it go. Just let it, just let it go, Mango. Just let it go. It's like if two countries made peace, and then one country just is hungry box and pops off once many times, and you're just like, let it go. We signed a treaty. <laughs> let it go. I'm just like losing it. I'm just like, ah. I didn't want to nuke this kid. <laughs> I want to nuke him. <laughs> he did yell in my ear at Summit. 
Yes, he did. That was fucked up. Middle of the set, fucking bitch. It distra I was laser focused. Then he yelled and it distracted me. No, it was like at Summit and we were playing and it was like a really fucking intense set. And like, I forgot what he did, but he like, middle of the set, like, I don't know what he did, but he like yelled and then like, I don't know what happened. I don't remember, but like, I don't know. It like distracted the fuck out of me. And then I got fucked. He br I mean, it sounds funny and like, it sounds like a bad John, but like, it was like mid set. Mid game. It was during a game. He just fucking yelled and it like, I don't know. It like rung through my head. I can't explain it. Young, Ma Young Mango might be the biggest piece of shit ever. But I know Young Mango. And he would not give a fuck if I said that. That kid truly gave no fucks about anything. That kid did not care. He only cared about being the best. Nothing else. Young Mango is... That guy's a... Young Mango would beat Curran Zane. He'd beat all of us. He'd give him enough time. That kid only cared. He just wanted to win. Before he had alcohol. Alcohol tainted him. Before Mango had alcohol, Little Mango. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let me tell you guys how I started drinking. It's really funny. Um, so, I, you guys know at Pound 3, like... I was hanging out in like Silent Wolf's room and they were drinking and they offered me alcohol and I was like, I'm good. I was like, nah man. Cause I was like 16, I was like, I'm good. I'm like, I don't want it. And then, um, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm good, man. Don't worry. And like, they didn't like pressure me or anything. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I was like, I never wanted to drink. Even in high school, I was like, eh, I don't want to drink. I'm like, it just doesn't seem like my thing. And then I got drunk, funny enough. The first people I ever got drunk with, Cactuar, Hacks Money, who was like 13 at the time, <laughs> uh, J-Man, and like uh, Haz and a few other East Coast Smashers. I was like, you know what? Eh, fuck it. Eh, I'll have it. Because J-Man was my boy. No snitches? No, it was back in the day. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I was underage too. <laughs> it was it was underage drinking party, baby. Um, and I was like, oh, dude, I remember the first time I got drunk, Cactuar bought me a uh, mango flavored Smirnoff and fucking like I had I had mango flavor. I had like one shot and like two cores lights and I was fucking lit. <laughs> Just keep in mind, I was like a hundred pounds. I was so little. I drank and then I got drunk and I remember waking up the next morning. And I was like, that was tight. <laughs> fucking shit. That was awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, guys, like, well, I'm doing that again, but I was like, no! I'm only gonna do it when I'm on the East Coast. So then I only drank the first few months when I visited the East Coast. Like, I was pretty good about it. I wouldn't drink back home. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm only drinking on. Okay, I'm only gonna drink when I travel. So then I went to a travel. And I was like, you know what? I'm only gonna drink. And then inevitably it just came back. And I said, like, you know what? I'm only gonna drink. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink whatever the fuck I wanna drink. But that's how it started. It was a chain, dude. I was like, I'm only gonna drink, and then after like 10, I'm only gonna drink, I just started drinking all the time. Cause then my friends back home in Norwalk were like, what the fuck, you get drunk when you go to East Coast, but you won't get drunk with us? I was like, no. <laughs> you guys ain't shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't care. You guys ain't shit. Oh. <laughs> I was like, and then I was like, ah, fuck it. That shit would not fly. I nothing. You guys understand, dude. Nothing that the old Smash meeting, nothing would fly. It, it was it was a different time. Firepuff, find the clip. I hate that. I love old Smash community. It was fucking Ratchet.com, dude. That's right. Old Smash is fucking Ratchet, dude. I, I just, honestly, the only thing I miss from, like, the old school era is, like, I just hate how everyone's soft now. I, I hate that. Everyone is such a fucking vagina speed now, and it's just, like, speed. Back in the day, it was, like, the fucking Wild Wild West. The clip where Hbox yelled, find the set. I just want to remember if it's as bad as I remember, or I'm, like, over hamming it up in my head. Shit. I mean, 
when it comes to like the world being better i'm i always say i'm okay with like i think some things are uh f i think like we should stop saying certain things and like i'm fine with that i think we progress in a way that like is fine i'm okay with like not saying a lot of things and whatever and that's totally fine like i'm fine with a lot of things i think things are better and we talk and we shouldn't say certain things but we lost our balls we lost our balls with it that's the problem i mean no i'm like i said i'm fine with like the way we've progressed and like i'm, I'm happy like you know we don't talk like little fucking middle schoolers anymore that's fine but we still lost a piece of us like with it as well i mean we lost grassroots but like we needed to lose grassroots to get to where we are right like i miss old melee but like if we don't evolve like yeah we, we don't have the scene we have today i don't have you know 13k subs so like, it's fine oh yeah he did it right after and then i got yeah, fucked but I think he's done this before. I don't think there's anything new. I remember just being sad. It was such a long game. And he just fucking yells. Remember, it's the center of her body. It's not, How did I lose not just her body. Oh, that might be it for Mango. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Yelled in my ear after beating me on Dreamland. So yeah, you remember, it's the center of her body. It's not just her body. Oh, that might be it for Man Mango. Hbox gets uh, edge guarding. He streamed me. Such Johns? That's a good John! When the person you're playing yells in your fucking ear. Center for I think that's a totally fine John. Her body. It's not just her body. After you lose a six minute ep Dreamland game. Oh, that might be it for Mango. And it was loud. No, it made my it made my ear ring, dude. I didn't cause it's it's really quiet. And then he just fucking yells yes. Mango got up here yeah, you remember, it's the center of her body. It's not just her body. Oh, that might be it for Mango. It like, that's loud. You gotta realize it picks up on the mic. I'm right here. It was really fucking loud. No, it was loud. Like, you hear it, but, like, I'm right here. <laughs> like, I, that shit was loud as fuck, dude. And then I'm pretty sure I just get owned next game. <laughs> yeah, but each matchup yeah. I told him. Mango probably playing something like saying. I said it. Something like you played really good. No, I didn't.